Hi, Hiram here. This morning I want to make another modification to the Super Cat stove. Uh, in the past, you saw I had this one from Colorado Camper. He gave to me had, so that I can play with it. First mod I made with this was I lined it with a strip of carbon felt, like so. I was kind of surprised the flames came out of the holes more so than what I thought they would. From here I went to another modification where this was with a uh, blueberry can from a muffin mix. It's a little bit larger in diameter but I punched the same quarter inch holes but above the holes I put a strip of carbon felt that went into the inside so that it could soak up the alcohol and act like a wick. So this lit up right away and then the jets came out worked pretty cool next modification was I did away with the holes and just put a strip of carbon felt on the outside got a really good boil time with this but it was probably kind of hoggish on the alcohol so what I want to try to do today is one more mod <clears throat> where I put one eighth inch holes here instead of the quarter inch these are holes that are punched with you know your regular paper punches this time I punched in holes that are one eighth of an inch in diameter so it's like half the size and I put a fiberglass wick around the top now the holes were punched in I used this thing that I got from Harbor Freight really nice little deep hand punch works great so of course they don't sell it anymore but I'm sure you can you know come up with something if this works what I want to try to do today is just the burn test I want to put a fluid ounce of alcohol in here methanol light the wick and see if the holes do indeed pick up the flame and start from there I'm hoping that with smaller holes it'll make for nicer bigger flames so let me set up for camera two to get a closer shot and I'll be right back okay so I've got this this uh, stove elevated up so that I can hit it with the camera let's light the wick start the timer so the wick's going there but even while that wick is heating up the stove the heat's not being wasted it is heating up the pot somewhat now this isn't a boil test it's just a flame test to see what happens here okay looks like it's starting to try to dip down to the holes it's funny the flames not going all the way around the wicking it's like it's only in this about an inch on each side of oops each side of the hole and then the stuff that's on the side isn't lit. And I think what happens is you need to wave this a little bit to get the flames around. See how the holes are trying to take off. Almost. Okay, what I did with the wicking was it split the can in half. One wick on one half of the can, one wick on the other half of the can looks like if this works I'm gonna to have to split it up into quarters apparently the uh, the alcohol just can't get all the way around the wicking okay it's trying to light up again this isn't wasted it's heating up your pan of water while it's heating up the stove but on the other hand the pan of water is keeping the stove cool we're working on a minute 46 seconds okay the holes are lit I hope you can see this in the camera not very big but they are lit come on see if it gets a little bit of breeze there they do take off I was really hoping it would take on faster than this. Yep, 
I was also hoping that with the smaller holes it would make for uh, stronger jets. Okay, here it's coming now. We're on 2 minutes 28 seconds. There we go. So now we've got the jets. I do think I have to punch a quarter of this instead of making the wicking over half the can. I think if the whole wick had been lit, this would have heated up much faster. And I think what happens here is once the, the jets are lit, I kind of think that the wick goes out. The flame is usually only on the outside of wherever the vapors are. So I get the impression, looking at it, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I don't think the wicking is actually burning now. It's all on the outside. So that's a nice flame. Going to the edges of the pan. I don't know if you can see it, but it's coming to the edge of the pan and up the side. I may not have it quite centered either. So cool. Okay, so that's my first test on Mod 3. Like I said, I think I have to quarter the wicks so that they get more alcohol. And it'll make, maybe make it start up faster. Okay, so I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.